Arinko Vericom panels can be a little difficult to access when you're out in the field unless you have the proper tools. Uh, one of the proper tools is a laptop. You can interface through the USB port of the laptop to the COM port on the Vericom board, um, but in a lot of cases most people don't want to bring their laptop out in the field. So the way that we've done this most often is to use a Bluetooth device that actually plugs into the COM port and we sell that on our website or you can call RC Worst at 664-2133, area code 208 to get pricing on that item but basically what it does is it turns that COM port access signal into a Bluetooth signal for your telephone. Unfortunately for iPhone users um, there is no app uh, simply because of the iPhone or Apple limitations to apps on the App Store. So it's an Android only program. It's a, available at www.vericom.net. You would have to have a login in order to find the program, but it, ultimately if you log in, there is a menu at the right hand top corner of the screen that would allow you to get into that and install that app on your phone. In order to do that though, you need to um, make sure you set your phone to allow any installation as opposed to any verified installation. It'll ask you or prompt you when you're installing that to go in and change that setting. Be sure to change that setting back once the BTVCom program is installed. And then what you'll have to do is activate the Bluetooth piece that goes in the panel and then interface your phone, pair your phone to that Bluetooth signal so they can talk basically. And this video goes through that fairly well. Um, certainly if you have any questions, call. But uh, once you get this connected, it's a pretty nice way to go into the panel. Uh, you can check history logs, you can change timer settings or other settings. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice way to get information from the panel that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. So to connect the Bluetooth, in this case we've got the IP kit here that's connected into the COM port of the, of the panel. We're going to just unhook this wire from the COM port so we can connect our Bluetooth dongle into that, which interfaces through Bluetooth to our phone. Always make sure you reconnect this because it's critical because that's connected up, otherwise you lose connectivity in the panel. So Cass is going to pull out his Bluetooth piece and slide that into the COM port on the upper part of the control board and then with his phone. So Cass has installed the BTVCOM app. That's available on www.vericom.net if you got a login. So any operator would have a login to that if they're operating systems. He's uh, paired with the Bluetooth dongle that's plugged into the panel and now on BTVCOM you hit connect in the menu at the top and at the bottom you've got whether or not you're getting signed in and what's connecting so now you can see the parameters of the panel through the BTVCOM app you can go in there and change the timer settings and, and do all that stuff it's pretty self-explanatory by the time you get into that um, if you have any questions give us a call 208-664-2133 the app does show you what uh, what the float states are and different stuff. So it is a pretty nice little app for troubleshooting a problem or, as I said, going in and changing some parameters that you want to change in the panel itself. Without the BTVCOM app on your phone and the Bluetooth dongle, you either have to dial into the panel. Uh, this one, again, is a network panel, so you, you don't dial actually into the panel, but you go into the Vericom website upload the settings and then it uploads it to the panel or you have to actually connect to the panel with a laptop that has a COM port on it which is kind of a pain so this is the best way really to interface with these panels and make changes.